Hi, and welcome back to our blog. I am Jim Cuervo, your senior instructor here at Digital Drafting Systems. Today's topic will be the differences between Revit's duplicate, duplicate with detail, and duplicate as a dependent views, and their usage. Let's get started, shall we? Very well. As we see in this particular example, we have a level one plan view. We're going to be using this to go ahead and move it over or duplicate it to create our multiple views that we need to create for level one. Let's say, for example, we need to create a furniture plan. I already have a couple of desks here, and I, the reason why I have them is because I want you to see actually what you can do in order to get your plans the way you want them. The views that we're going to be looking at, as I stated in the introduction, is are rather duplicate, duplicate with detail, and duplicate as a dependent. We will start with duplicate. So with that said, let's go ahead and first things first, I like to keep a level one base source or source for a uh, plan. So personally, I go ahead and say rename this and just add the suffix base. Okay, here, let's do it in uppercase so we know that this is my creation. Okay, yes, so uh, rename the correlating ones. As we can see, it's done. And uh, let's go ahead and now right click here and duplicate duplicate okay as you can see we've made a copy everything is coming over let's take a look at the differences between the first uh, one and the second one let's go ahead and over to view and let's go ahead and tile this ZA for zoom all and in this case this is the base copy so we have no misunderstandings let's go ahead and rename this one take that out and call this one furniture Okay, and click outside. So this is now level one furniture, and this is level one base. The differences are, if you can look at here, you have some annotative objects. Okay, not a lot, just a couple. And this is illustrating that the annotative objects don't carry over it as a duplicate. So annotative objects, such as door tags, window tags, and dimensions and things like that do not carry over okay but the geometry does now this I don't want any geometry in for furniture for example so I, what do I do how do I, I differentiate the stuff for that's in here versus the, st the stuff is over here well very simple in the level one base I don't want to see the furniture so I go ahead over here to uh, visibility graphics look for furniture and uncheck it once I say apply and OK, then the furniture is gone from here. So I don't have to worry about placing furnitures in this one and then be having them show here. So the difference between uh, uh, that uh, duplicate view and the original is that in a duplicate, standard duplicate that is, the annotative objects do not carry over, as you can see here. Okay, as you can take a look a little closer here for the up sign, it's, it's, it's not there because it's, it is an annotative object. Very well, with that said, let's go ahead and close the furniture plan and type Z, ZA for zoom extents or zoom all. And let's take a look at the second set here. We'll go back to the base level. Right click on it, duplicate. This time we'll skip over duplicate duplicate with detailing and we'll go to duplicate as dependent. But before we do that, we will create yet another duplicate, okay? Now, the duplicate as dependents I use mostly for splitting my drawing up into two sections because it doesn't fit on the sheet. So what I do in this particular case, uh, using the example of a dimension plan, I do a standard duplicate then take that standard duplicate and rename it. I'm going to call this one uh, Master Dimension Plan. Okay, and like that. So I'm actually duplicating the base so I can then have a master dimension plan where I go ahead and do some dimensioning. I'm not going to really do a lot of dimensioning because this is not about dimensioning. It's more about the views. 
and I just want you to see what some of these items actually do for you once you have them in okay so I'm gonna do that one I'm gonna do some overalls here for the for this section in here oops I'm going to dimension from here to here and then we'll dimension this way this way I'm not going to do a lot because this is like I said not about dimensioning it's more about the views so this one's got some overall dimensions here well we're going to be dealing with that in a moment and I can continue to dimension this for the generalities of it uh, let's go ahead now and see how the duplicate as dependent works Duplicate as dependent will allow me to separate the plan, this master dimension plan into two sections, okay? And that's going to be one of the sections. Let me just open this up here so we can see it, read it easier. Let's go ahead and rename this one. One of them is going to be the east side. Okay, the east side. Okay, and then I'm going back to the master dimension plan, right click on it, and then duplicate that one again as a dependent. Once again, it is a child of the master dimension plan, and that's what this tree is actually showing you. Let's go ahead and rename this one as the west side. West and click outside okay then we'll go ahead and then um, organize this accordingly I will go ahead and grab here and since this is the West I will grab the grip and reduce this size the reason why I'm stopping here is because this in actuality is my match line right there so I'll go ahead and switch over now to the West uh, to the East one select the uh, border or frame or what is called the crop region line okay once I have it placed where I want it I can turn it off I can do the same thing in both sides okay and so now I have my east and west notice that you you actually do carry over your annotative objects such as the uh, dimensions here and they're also being carried over okay so everything that was from the master is going to be placed in the east side and the west side okay the other thing that I want you to notice is this that if I actually change the scale on one of these whether it's a child or the master let's go ahead and switch it to an eighth inch when I switch it to one I switch it to all if I add a tag on one it tags them all. Let's go ahead and suit, go uh, annotate here. Let's go ahead and add tag by category. And let's go ahead and tag that one, okay? And let's say this one, and then maybe this one. So you'll notice that these, these are being tagged in the master plan, but the east side is also having it. So whatever I do to one, I do to the children, okay? Or if I do it to the children, it actually applies to the master plan or the parent plan okay so that is what duplicate as dependent does okay what you do to one you do to them all it's a good idea to have some sort of a master if you're going to be splitting it like this as such as I've done here moving on let's go ahead now and see what a duplicate with detail does I'm actually going to go back to the master dimension plans because it has. I, I want to s you to see exactly how the annotative objects are being treated now that I have a bunch of it here. Okay, and actually the one that we're going to be using as duplicate with detail is going to be here for the fire stairs. And what I use duplicate with detail uh, for is more for blow up, areas that need to be blown up and still need to be connected to the master plan. In this case, it's going to be the st fire staircase blow up. So I'll go ahead and select the master dimension plan, right click on it, duplicate, duplicate with detail. Okay, this one is going to be called, not the master dimension plan, let's go ahead and rename it. Okay, and let's go ahead and rename it, not master dimension plan, but fire stairs, blow up. Very, very well. Oops, I 
I'd like to have all caps, so fire stairs blow up. Okay, let's go ahead and say okay. And what we do is we come back once again to the uh, show cropping region. Okay, and there's my cropping region. I'll select the cropping region and I'll edit the boundary. Oops, oh, wrong cropping region. That's not it. Uh, I actually turned it off. That's it. And this is my cropping region here. Okay, now I'll go ahead and edit my cropping region. Really, what I want is to erase all of this because my real cropping region is going to be right here. So I can go ahead with the line and click as I need to in order to go ahead and have a little better definition of what I'm going to be cropping. Very well, once the cropping region is done, I go ahead and do my check mark and look what happens. The important information is kept. For example, this is the, the distance between the two grid lines. Well, I don't need that. If I erase it from here, you would think that it would actually erase it from the master, but no, it, it hasn't been erased. It's all still there. Okay, and the same thing with the east side. It's still still there. So what happens, even though the blow-up, sorry, uh, wrong pl plan, the blow-up brings in annotative objects, once the, co the copy has been made or the duplicate has been made, that connection is gone. If I delete it from here, it does not mean that I've deleted it from the other one. It's still there. You see that? Or from the master plan. It's still there. As a matter of fact, I deleted some dimensions and it's not going to affect my other plans because in those, I actually do want the, the, over, the overalls like this. And it's in this blow-up plan. Let's go ahead and also turn off the uh, cropping region and so it doesn't show it. But in the blow-up plan, I'm just not going to dimension a whole lot. I'm just going to be a little bit more thorough about dimensioning in here. In this fashion, uh, just the thickness of the walls, the placement of my uh, door, the location of the wall in relationship to one of the grid lines. Click, click, click. Place it. Let's go ahead and grab this and pull it over so we can see it a little bit easier. Oops, cancel, that's not what I want. I want this little grip and let's pull it over here and then grab that little grip and let's put it over there. And as you can see in the <coughs> blow up with detail, I can be much more uh, um, um, thorough as far as dimensioning my objects. I can change the scale, okay? In which case everything is now uh, a little bit easier to read because they're bigger, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. That's just like you would with a regular blow-up. Okay, uh, because I've changed the scale, this can be actually like this now. And let's go ahead and just uh, do this one so it's not so far away. And there we go. So duplicate with detail allows for blow-ups. Okay, that's one. So let's take a look at it again. Duplicate with detail allows you for blow-ups, okay? Duplicate allows you to create your other floor plans, such as the furniture plan and cover floor covering plan, etc., etc. And duplicate as dependent allows you to keep a connectivity between a master plan and its subsequent children, which then those children can be the then uh, split into two sheets if necessary, such as we did here in the uh, master dimension plan. And now since we're on the subject, this in actuality should not be called master anymore because it isn't, so I'll say rename it. Just take away the master part of it like that and do the same thing to the other one. And as you can see more or less what a possible arrangement of your duplicates, but an understanding of what they could be used for and what they are used for in this particular example. So with that, we have achieved the ending of our explanation uh, of uh, Revit views, duplicate, duplicate with detail, and duplicate as a dependent. I hope you've enjoyed it. Till the next one, keep safe. Hope to see you soon.